founded in Sacramento, where we just came back this last weekend. Paz Sanctuary is probably the leading sanctuary in the world mm -hmm. for, um, you know, retired circus elephants from zoos and circuses and animals, but they protect animals all over the world. Yes, they do. And, uh, and the founder had passed away a few weeks ago, and they called Kat mm -hmm. and asked her if she would uh, come with this, for this children's circus Soleil to come and perform that number again. Uh, for her memorial, so we just came back from Sacramento before this <coughs> once again. And, and that, that uh, song is from my father's film, Bless the Beasts and Children, yes. so that's another reason I wanted yeah. to show that tonight is, you know, I'm, it's going to be the theme song now, thank goodness, I'm so honored, it's this theme song for Paws and also for uh, Pat Derby and, and honoring her legacy, and it'll be released as a single and the proceeds will be going to Paws. So, um, well, I am so glad you're both back. Mm -hmm. And now we have Karen up here. Yeah. Hey. Um, how is it working as a mother and daughter team? I have a lot of respect for Pat. I have a lot of experience. Uh, so I'm going to come from the experience in a different generation. She's more modern, and she has her, her things that she thinks should be done her way. And we, we haven't had any real problems about that, but there are different different perspectives on things and uh, and she adds to it and I add in my thing one one thing that uh, one thing I'm wearing under here is this shirt it's called, it says oh, yourself yeah. oh. and it's it's a no bullying shirt oh, and I know yeah. that you had a no bullying movie yeah, right? of course I'm an anti-bullying activist right and uh, I yes. continue to be that but you know for the screening series which she mentioned earlier uh, films that change the world I try and focus on each time I screen a film, it's a different issue. So, you know, like I've done a lot of animal rights, women's rights, um, the anti-bullying. Our company produces those, uh, those screening series, that screening series, and it will continue to do things that deal with social issues and whatever she wants to do. I'm also, I'm producing a one-woman show, I think we talked about that, so that's all yes. through the company, but production. I'm self-producing that, you know, collaborating with others. Didn't you just get the comedy? I did, the award? Entertainer of the Year, Yay. which was for last this year. Yeah, right. right. Uh, we, uh, we have time for a couple of questions. Anybody? Yes, Brenda. When I hear stories and they're, and they're talking about bullying, it brings <laughs> tears to me. And I am like a, I'm, and I get mad at myself. You are way too ogre. You should move no, on. Absolutely. But it hurt me so bad. Well, it damages you for life. Well, yeah. I have to say that the one film that I screened, Teach Your Children Well, and I didn't bring it tonight, but there are copies available on DVD. I can okay. get you one. Okay. It won some film festivals. It is coming out officially on <coughs> DVD. That's the one that Lou Tomlin narrates. Okay. Um, and she hosted that. She actually hosted two in the series, but the one was about elephants. Yes and then this one about bullying. Um, and I'm also involved with some other anti-bullying films, like we gave Bully the so. Stanley Kramer Award at the Producers Guild, which was a film, you know, Bully, that was probably like the movie from last year that kind of okay. was the official film about bullying. Well, so we gave the Stanley so Kramer Award I because I thought it was just an important issue, and even though the film came out great early last year, and there was a lot of other films that people <laughs> thought, but Kat and I discussed it, and we thought, no, uh, I established this award in 2000 mm -hmm. under my husband's name for social issues and because of our experience in bullying and knowing so many young people have committed suicide oh my god unnecessarily but they did over it i said that subject has got to be in the forefront and if we can mm -hmm. keep giving awards to films that have something to say to, to the culture
Yes. We have time for one more because we want to start working too as well. well yes. Um, Charlie. Uh, yes, I'm uh, hi. Nice to meet both of you. Thank you. Very nice ladies. Thank you. I, I, my name is Charlie. I'm De La Peña. I'm from San Antonio, Texas. Oh, well. me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how about that? Well, welcome. I got bullied by my football team. Oh, they, yeah. they didn't like it. <clears throat> that I sang in the choir. Um. They, they thought it wasn't. Uh, enough. Macho enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. They didn't like. They didn't like anything yeah. that I did either, and yeah. uh, I just couldn't. I just it really hurt me. So I welcome. I'm glad you're here among yeah. other artists who understand you. Well, we're all gonna do um, uh, scenes and monologues. Well, she does die in the play. Her mom is going with her half. Yeah. Mama, this is not what I feel. This is the... Oh, Mom, why don't you understand something, you know? Oh, Mama, please, I need your support. Would we rather have 30 minutes of my lifetime and another special? I understand, I understand. There aren't any rules here. They're on, Truby, they're on. Please don't tell anybody yet. I want to tell Daddy first. It gets very emotional, which you did very well, by the way. Yeah. Very well. <laughs> and that was great. And you did extremely well all the way through. Thank you. special there are limits to what we you are jealous because you no longer have a say so in what I do you're ready to spit nails and it's driving you up the wall this bodybuild bit Ted lately I've been thinking about what's the point dude <laughs> okay I used to get a charge knowing my body was so great now when I send some girls digging me and I don't get turned on I get trapped feeling <laughs> Kenny and I, we had a romance, like something all night long. Lionel Richie would be singing, you know what I'm saying? All night long. Oh, man. Then it just all started to fall apart. Yeah, you're inventive, fantastic. But I'm not going to be held hostage and that you attack me in this room oh, now. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hold you hostage. You really should go. And um, he's so mixed up, he doesn't know what the heck he's doing. But it, it, <laughs> and it really shows the dysfunctional of this marriage. And yet there's still this caring underneath all of it. I think you did extremely well. That's I great. Very good. Very good. Very good. I, the other day I forgot where I put my keys. Uh, then I remember I don't have a home. Reach for something more of understanding and where are you out there? You know, are you listening to me? I mean, there's something wrong. I'm getting these messages from up here, but you know, listen to me. There's something wrong with what's going on in this world. Yeah. About the value. My father didn't write anymore for a lot of reasons. But critical opinion was not one of them. Hard as that may be for you to believe, I know how important this stuff is to you. For us. But this is kind of theater here. Mm -hmm. So you need to bring your voices up a tad, okay? Mm -hmm. I love the way you got close to her. I like the fact you were trying to get her attention and she was not able to uh, give it to you and didn't want to give it to you, but there was the connection. I think you did extremely well. I really mm -hmm. did. Great line, by the way. Anyway, you did great, all of you. I just want to tell you that. Yeah.